Lovely Libras. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Yes, right now, my dears, it is all about you. You, Libra, you, you, you. And you know, when I was walking home with kisses, I was thinking, lucky Libras. So I want to know what that channeled energy is about. I want to know um, what exactly all this luck, where is this luck coming from? And I'm hoping that it's true, lucky Libras. I'm feeling like this up, like this pickup in... Um, fortune for you. So let's see about it. Let's see. Let's get it going. Okay. For those of you who are new, welcome to Born Without Boundaries. My name is Michelle and this is the weekly oracle and tarot card reading uh, for the zodiac sign of Libra, sun, moon, rising, or if you really know your natal chart very well, you can take these Libran energies and you can place them wherever Libra influences your chart. Um, the, if you can do it, that's awesome. Um, for those of you who have not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Click that uh, red rectangle below, that subscribe button, and also ring that bell so you know when I go live. I go live Monday through Friday, usually between eight and nine, eight, mm, I'll extend it to 10, eight and 10 Eastern Standard Time. Um, I'm living kind of near New York in Connecticut, so that's my time frame. Um, I love to go live. I do a daily reading, a daily tarot card reading live, and then I do a, um, an open question and answer session where I'll pull tarot cards for your for for your questions. It's kind of cool every morning. I love it. Libra, if you are on platforms that allow for commercials, there will be one in a couple of seconds. Um, I put it at the beginning so that there will be no interruptions to the actual message. Whether you know it or not, it's actually a donation to the channel, so it's your way of supporting the channel, and I really appreciate it. So I will see you in a couple of seconds. Now, for those of you who just sat through an awkward pause, thank you. For those of you who just sat through a commercial, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. So, this is your oracle card reading. And then in the description box below, you will find a link for an extended reading, which is a full tarot card spread. and romance reading. So you can click that link below. It'll flow right from this reading. Energies for the zodiac sign of Libra for November 1st through the 7th of 2019. November 1st through the 7th of 2019 for Libra. Libra, November 1st through the 7th of 2019. 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 Libra, November 1st through the 7th of 2019. November 1st through the 7th of 2019. Libra, November 1st through the 7th of 2019. Libra, November 1st through the 7th, 2019. Here we go. Crowning your reading, porcupine upside down. So there's, your walls are coming down. Mm -hmm. There's, you're, you're entering a situation or a, a time in your life when you don't have to be as guarded and you don't have to be as maybe, I apologize. Well, you don't have to be as defensive as you had before. Um, maybe the sense of prickliness or somebody in your life who was prickly toward you was actually calming down and soothing a little bit. Porcupine is a very, very confident uh, totem, but its its message on the card is time for a beginner mind. In reverse, it's, 
it's wisdom. It's, it's not a beginner mind. You've been here before, you've experienced it, and you're actually a lot more settled in your skin because you don't, and that's why you don't have to be as protective. That's why you don't have to be as defensive. That's why you don't have to be as uh, bristly as maybe you have been. If, if something has been acting up in your life that has put you on the defensive, it is the walls are coming down now, or maybe the mystery or the shroud around it is coming down now so that things are a bit easier to approach. You're finding things easier to um, understand maybe a, a specific person, but I think it, it, to keep the energies general right now, this feels like a calming down, a soothing out, a reduction in defenses because it makes you lighter and you know more now. You know more than you did when you had, when you felt specifically dependent upon extra defenses. Let's see if that's the last part of the message that needs to come out. This is you. This is, well, this is the energy crowning the reading right now. Porcupine energy upside down. And he has a very prominent shadow. So I'm wondering if you're getting in touch with more of your shadow self. And at this point, it's not scaring you. In other words, a darker side of Libra. Libras don't really have a dark side. Except sometimes you can be vain. But... In general, I'm feeling there's just a redistribution of energies that is a positive redistribution. In other words, a focus that you were putting in a certain direction may have been too much or you have been putting too much energy into a specific thing like defensiveness or um, sticking up for yourself. That's what it is. You were overcompensating and you have been overcompensating for the past couple of weeks. That's what the issue was. Why is this not focusing? Do you see that? How it's not really? There you go. Um, you've been overcompensating for the past couple of weeks. Maybe being extra defensive because you felt like you had to be. Because something about the last couple of weeks has made you feel agitated in a way that you normally aren't. It's made you feel like you had to stick up for yourself. Well, that's turning around now. It's soothing out. It's calming down. You know better now. It's almost like you're returning more to your balanced frame of mind. There is an appeasement, internal appeasement in you, a settling down, a calming down, and maybe even reconciliation of some sort or a, um, ability to finally talk to somebody who you were having discord with or having an argument with or this could be somebody not being as bristly towards you in other words accepting this other side of you this more shadowy side of you this darker side of you maybe they're coming into acceptance of that part of you as well and Maybe they're doing it because it's honestly a lot better than getting the spikes. It's, it's honestly a lot, the shadow part of you is a lot easier to deal with than the defensive part of you. So if they can just accept that there are these traits about you that they didn't know and that maybe you didn't want to reveal and maybe you're not always going to want to reveal them. You know, it's like, listen, I like, that's not, that's not. This isn't who I am. This is a part of who I am. So it's not always what I am, okay? But I will bring it out when I have to. It's like you have found your mode of defensiveness, but now you can put it away. You can like hang your hat. You can rest. You can relax. There's just this sensation of finally being able to breathe out and release that energy and that tension and that feeling that you were being attacked or, or, or like taken advantage of in somehow there there was that edge that feeling and now it's like it's calming you down you're you're you don't it's going away and that's a good thing set healthy boundaries that's a wonderful card to come out after this card 
because you're realizing, in other words, when you're coming back to balance, you're realizing a healthy boundary isn't maybe uh, the Great Wall of China surrounding your person, right? That would be an impenetrable boundary and that doesn't really work for life. So setting healthy boundaries has to know has to do with knowing and understanding, do I want to live in this heavy shell my whole life or do I just want to be able to be more discerning when it comes to people to people that I let into my life or do I have to be more open and honest with who I am so that I never have to come into uh, in other words I never have to come into the situation again where I'm letting the wrong people in my life because I'm not excusing them so much early on or I'm not allowing so much early on and when I set these boundaries early on the best boundary is to be yourself out loud and to not accommodate people and remember that's what you were battling with you were battling with this urge and need to constantly accommodate people and I think that there was an an extra amount of energy sort of flooding into now defending yourself against that or kicking those people out because you never really liked them to begin with and this is that soothing out energy of learning how to set healthy boundaries so that you're not Mr. or Mrs. Bristly all the time and it's just like a calming energy of understanding yourself a little bit better and looking at the world with more gentle eyes and back to your sense of understanding, but also understanding that you do have to keep those people at bay, that you do have to keep some people at bay. This is that fine balance that is healthy boundary settings. And as a Libra rising, I have to say it has been a struggle my whole life. Magic works through you. There's some sort of healing going on, and I think there's some sort of reconciliation with somebody that you may have been on the rocks with. That's what I'm feeling. Like somebody that you could have essentially blown up at or tried to get out of your life, but maybe now you're coming back to a sense of sort of understanding with them, a, ba a more balanced understanding of not their perspective or their point of view, but it's almost like it's over for you now. You got out all that you needed to get out and now everything is clearing up. Now the magic and the healing comes with you um, sort of healing the energies around you, not just the energies inside of you, making sure that you have patched things up with a specific person, embrace the in-between. They're not going to be ready right now to forgive you. They're not going to be ready right now to have you back in, the, in your life, but you don't mind. You don't mind. And I think that's the level up that's happened to you over the past couple of weeks. And this week especially, so you're sort of reveling in the fact that you feel really good right now. This is a very balanced card very flamboyant card, but it means that you feel very good in your newfound balance because um, to conserve energy, uh, um, I was going to say peacocks, this is not a peacock, flamingos stand on one leg, you know, and they can switch legs, right? So here's the thing, you have found this new way of being balanced and you're okay with the fact that you're okay with the fact that this person doesn't necessarily want to forgive you right now or maybe they're not ready or maybe you're not even fully ready to reincorporate this person into your life but where once upon a time it may have gotten to you it may have bothered you you don't really mind right now there's this sense of everything is going to be okay i'm okay not knowing I'm okay not completely and totally understanding. I'm okay just standing here and having faith in where I am right now. I'm okay being where I am right now. I'm going to like this moment. I'm going to live in this feeling of contentment. And that's what I feel. This overwhelming feeling all this week is content. You're content this week. It's not necessarily blatant, full-blown, oh my God, happiness but it's content. You're content with the life lessons you've learned, with where you, because you've gotten out all the ugly. You've shed all the hurt. You've gotten out all the suffering. You've purged it. And being an air sign, you can just let things go and really, truly, and completely exist in the here and now. And that's what's going on. You are completely existing in the here and now. And you're getting back to your own lighthearted self. Sing your own song. Sing your own song. You're being yourself again. You're proud and you're happy and you're strong. Maybe you're actually singing and sharing music and performing and entertaining people. Maybe you have actually found yourself, found your true joy, your true place in, place in your own world because it took you 
like sort of blowing up and doing something very out of your nature to get back into your true nature, break those boundaries that were holding you back. You know, those boundaries that you set for yourself that you didn't know were boundaries where you were always taking care of everybody else or putting all your energy into making everybody else happy and forgetting about your own passions and your own desires. Maybe it was sort of an out, right? Maybe it was sort of like, oh, I'll make everybody else happy. I'll take care of everybody else. And it was really you avoiding, really you being afraid of actually going after what you really felt was was um, important, what was really important to you. And now you found your voice again. You're going after what is really important to, to you, whether it be music or song or dance or writing or science or arithmetic, it doesn't matter. What matters is you're back to singing your own tune and, and not caring at this point. And this is the wonderful freedom of this week. You don't really care whether or not somebody likes the tune that you're singing. You just are able to be happy being yourself. Surrender now. This is you living in the moment. And I do have this feeling of this is my moth to a flame card and also a Sagittarius card. So actually you, like a moth to a flame, you could be attracting a Sagittarius to you. Probably because they like your newfound sense of freedom, sense of yourself. They're, they, they're very attracted to this sense of um, empowerment that you have now. Um, also a sense of adventure in them because you have a devil may care attitude about you this week. And you are attracting people into you because of that devil may care attitude. Not necessarily you don't give a shit, but you're light and you're happy and you're free and you don't care. like, it's not that you don't care. It's not, it's that you're content to not be worried about what other, whether or not other people are content. And I think there's a great amount of freedom and liberation in that feeling. Um, life is speeding up, but this is upside down. When, when this is, this card is upside down, it's, it's you looking at the world a different way. It's you seeing a world in a different way. You are realizing and finding a different way to move through life. You, and it's quite liberating for you in that you have realized almost leveling up your only way, your, your way through life isn't just taking care of people along the way or trying to solve every solution or bending to every will. You don't have to bend every single time in order to get through life. You can decide things that make you happy. This is also about slow moving. You've slowed down this week and that's okay. I think there was a lot of explosion and a lot of speed in the past couple of weeks and to balance yourself back out, you're taking a respite. This is almost like when it's in reverse, it almost reminds me of the four of swords in that you're sort of like lying on your back reflecting as to what's happened to you and you're you're reflecting on it in appreciation in other words there is no ill will there is no sense of i want to go back but there isn't also a sense there's also not a sense of i'm ready to rush forward you don't want to rush this you're actually really loving the feeling of just being content where you are and with who you are which is yourself and sometimes life stings and this is in reverse. So this is really healing. This is you healing this week. This is you like the salve or the balm being placed on your wound or whatever that open wound was or however your heart was hurting. There's a lot of healing going on and I feel this communication, this little lovely love song that you're singing to actually being in this state of not having to make decisions right now, not wanting to make decisions right now, that is actually a very Libran trait. Sometimes you, it's very difficult for us to decide which way we're going, but there's a, there's a great amount of peace and it's almost like other people are very happy. It's almost like you're magnetic and you're attracting people to you because they like that energy of being right here right now and not having to worry. I feel like we went through a lot of zodiac signs, went through a cluster, you know what, a very challenging time recently and and you know you can't avoid it we all go through challenging times you want to say hi to everybody i love you i love you that's my kisses over there so i think a lot of zodiac signs went through a very challenging time and it's just not something that um you know you can avoid all the time but that's why i think that's why i think it's so very important or, or you're so very magnetic this week because it's almost like you're the hub or the central 
sort of uh, axis of that energy of I'm just going to be here right now. This is exactly where I want to be. It's almost like you're, uh, like I've said this before, the Rip Van Winkle of sorts. You're calling people to you and, and like uh, mystifying them and attracting them and helping them to heal by healing yourself and just really enjoying this moment of <sighs> take a breath, take a breather. Let me flip the cards around. I'll show you. Hold on. I always say that, Libra. I always say, let, let me flip the cards around. It's not the cards. It's let me flip the camera around. Now, this is, remember the upside, the upside of down or the underside of things? This is also a Scorpio card. You could very well have like dodged a bullet. Somebody may be forgiving you. Somebody who maybe wanted to have been spiteful to you is now forgiving you because it's like, it's almost like your chill attitude has neutralized the beast. Whatever beast was trying to attack you or after you or that you had to defend yourself from, you've almost neutralized them this week. Uh, you've neutralized the stinger. You've, you've, you've uh, what do you call it? You've taken the stinger out. You've disabled that part of them that might hurt you. And I think you've done it. By being so chill, by just being calm and being your calm, beautiful, happy self again, you have you have made them not want to attack you and you've almost made them feel a sense of peace because as much as you don't realize it, many other signs are very comfortable with emotions, even violent emotions, even big emotions where people explode on each other. Libra, some signs are extremely comfortable with those things. And I feel like sometimes you're not. You're not comfortable with big emotions. And that's why you try to neutralize things right away. And the past couple of weeks have not been that for you. It has been you making huge decisions or making huge revela revelations or sharing things that you've bottled up for a long time. And that was not normally you. But it's what you had to do to get back to a healthier state of you, to be the whole person and really choose yourself and put yourself first. And the wonderful thing about this week is you're getting back to that even, that, that, that temperament that you really love. You're getting back to that state of peace. And because you're back to that state of peace, it's almost like you're bringing other people with you, including the people that may have been most angry with you or may have felt most offended at you. You're almost sort of de-stinging them. You're taking out their stinger with your calmness and your peaceful attitude and even your song. So in other words, you may be actually speaking words that help them to understand emotionally what was going on that make it a little bit more clear for them. You could just have this effect on them where you're helping them to heal just by being yourself. Just by being at peace and showing them an example of peace, you're helping them to heal too. Or you're helping to heal a situation that's around you. Um, it could be between two different factions, right? Two different people who, um, two different sets of people. And there's Libra coming in as that medium of sorts, coming in and helping to solve the issues and helping to like clear every, clear up the dissonance between both sides. Um, that could be as well, just Libra working on both sides and finding a balance, finding a compromise between two different extremes. I would say that that's definitely the title of this reading, finding a compromise between two extremes, Libra, because that's what you're doing this week. And you're doing it in a way that only you could do it, if that makes any sense. Um, in a way that makes, that what makes, excuse me. That makes everybody want to come along with you. Beautiful. I'm going to delve a little bit deeper over on Vimeo. I'm going to take out the cards and see a little bit more about um, what's been going on on either side. Exactly maybe what song you are singing and who specifically is perhaps the Scorpio that you're dealing with um, and what their feelings may be and what their um, actions in the future may be. So let's go over to Vimeo and uh, dive a little deeper and also get your romance reading on Libra. I'll see you over there.